to the race for the White House. Voters in Wisconsin getting ready to head to the polls tomorrow, where Republican frontrunner Donald Trump is facing a strong challenge from Ted Cruz. April shaping up to be a huge month, another huge month, we should say, in the race, with at least 255 delegates at stake for the Republicans. ABC's Tom Yamas is here tracking it all. Good morning, Tom. Amy, good morning to you. Senator Ted Cruz feeling confident about Wisconsin. He knows if he wins there, this race could be decided on the convention floor. This as Trump is calling for Governor John Kasich to get out of the race because he's taking away potential votes. This morning, Donald Trump trying to bounce back after a rough stretch from drama with his campaign to fumbling on abortion and a war of words over wives. Was this my best week? I guess not. I could have done without the retweet, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, well, I'm on, I think I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. In a rare move, Trump admitting he's made mistakes and regrets initially suggesting women should be punished for having an illegal abortion. As a hypothetical question, I would have rather asked it, you know, answered it in a different manner, yeah. Today, wife Melania returns to the campaign trail, joining Trump in Wisconsin. He would be the best president. This as Senator Ted Cruz, who leads in Wisconsin, says Trump's misstatements on issues like abortion happen because he's not a real Republican. Donald's answers are the answers of someone who's a liberal trying to say what he thinks conservatives want to hear. Cruz, not the only one taking shots at Trump. Donald Trump does not personally condone violence. Right. Okay, well, <laughs> let's just randomly see what's happening right now at his rally. <laughs> And for the Democrats, a new fight is brewing. Hillary Clinton saying she's ready to debate Senator Bernie Sanders on GMA before the New York primary in two weeks. Sanders not ready to commit. People of New York deserve to hear us discussing the important issues facing that state and facing the country. I suspect it will work out. And this morning, a lot of people in the political world are talking about a new story in New York Magazine. It is a cover story that just hit shelves today. It is about Donald Trump. And in this story, two interesting nuggets. According to New York Magazine, one, Ivanka Trump actually wanted Donald Trump to apologize after his comments about Mexican immigrants when he announced and that Donald Trump has been wearing a bulletproof vest out on the campaign trail. George. Oh, a sign of how volatile things are out there. Okay, Tom, thanks very much.